you realize that the biggest adversary to your success, the biggest hindrance to your success is actually you? Did you also know that the biggest advocate, the biggest help to your success is also within you? Today, we're going to talk about improving your self-talk and how much of an impact that can have upon getting you the life that you actually want. But before I do that, remind you to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on more things that are going to help you to live a really big life, to think bigger, and be in constant pursuit of your greatest potential. Regardless of the circumstances that are around you in your life, there's this constant pernicious little voice that is constantly describing to you what's actually happening in the world around you. So two people can be looking at the exact same scene and seeing something totally different. The reason why is because inside of each of their respective minds, there's a little voice, a narrator, if you will, that's interpreting what they're looking at. And that interpretation is coming based on what that person is, who that person is, and their past experiences. So if you think about that, you realize that you can again start to change the world around you by simply changing that little voice inside of you. Now, for example, how this applies to helping you live a bigger life and achieve your goals comes down to what you, that little voice tells you when you talk about your future self, your ideal self, the life that you actually want to live. Your, that little voice inside your head may be saying like, oh, I'm not ready for that. Oh, that's too big. That's not for me. I'm not ready for that. I'm not uh, educated enough for that. Like, I don't deserve that. And so as a result, you will begin taking actions that reinforce exactly what that little voice said. On the other hand, you might be looking at goals and saying, I totally deserve that. That's mine. If they can do it, I can do it. That's the life I'm meant to have. That's absolutely within reach. I got this. If that little voice is constantly playing every time you look at your goals or better circumstances than the one you're currently in, then you will subconsciously start to move in that direction. So how do you change this? How do you change that little voice to where it starts to say what you want it to say, to where that little voice is your advocate and not your adversary? What well, has a lot to do with input, it has a lot to do with what are you consuming? Are the people around you supportive and expanding your possibilities, helping you to think bigger? Or are they talking down, saying you don't deserve that, you're not one of them, you're like us, stay here with us. Be very aware of that. One of the first steps is awareness, being aware of what's happening, not just in the world around you, but what's happening to you as a result of that world. Oftentimes the news media, oftentimes friends who aren't maybe as ambitious as you are, uh, people who don't believe in themselves and therefore maybe don't believe in the people around them, that all has an impact upon us. We need to constantly be auditing the things around us, the environment, the things that we're consuming, the input, the conversations people are having about us, the things that we're reading, the things that we're consuming, all of those things will have an impact and will start to move the needle on that particular voice. A couple of key things that maybe you've heard me say before is that affirmations are not simply some written list of goals you wanna have. Affirmations are going on all day, every day. That is the voice. You're affirming the fact that this is the life that you are going to have or the life that you deserve to have. And so be careful of your affirmations that are going on all day long. Be careful as well as to what you're consuming. You need to be reading, I would say 10 pages of, of, of a good book every day. I've even upped that for me personally because I've got really ambitious goals. So you have to dedicate time. Now you might be saying like, where am I gonna get this time? Um, how is it that you have all of this uh, these ambitious goals, you don't have time to read, yet you have time to be caught up on all the big Netflix series. That's somewhere where you can be pulling out time from entertainment and turning it into education. If you're looking for a way to grow things quickly, think about how often am I seeking entertainment and how do I start to replace that entertainment with education? That will be a great way for you to start to interject a new filter into that mind to start to move that voice to being more of an advocate as opposed to being an adversary. Now, if this has been helpful, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and remember, go think bigger.